السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أنا تدريسية منان نعمة عبد الهادي تدريسية في قسم اللغة الإنجليزية كلية الآداب جامعة المستنصرية محاضرتنا بعنوان فروع وأقسام علم اللغة لكتاب اللغة للكاتبة جين أتشسن 1972 اللي درس لطلاب المرحلة الثالثة Um, so in the beginning, let me identify a very important point that whenever we intend to explain uh, linguistics, three questions are arising. Question number one, what is meant by linguistics? Question number two, what is meant by language? And question number three, who is the linguist? Well, as far as the first question, uh, what is meant by linguistics? Actually, uh, many linguists, including uh, Atchison, uh, 1972, affirm, uh, affirms that uh, linguistics is the systematic study of language, or it is the discipline that describes language in all its aspects uh, and formulates theories as how it works. Um, actually, this definition leads us to conclude that there are many methods, there are many um, theories, many mechanisms that are used in order to uh, acquire, to study, and to understand language. So this leads us to conclude that linguistics is the scientific study of language. But what is language? Actually, language, people use language in a number of uh, ways, um, in a wide sense. For instance, the language of flowers, uh, the language of music, uh, body language, etc. But as far as uh, linguistics is concerned, uh, language can be defined as the specialized uh, sound signaling uh, system which seems to be genetically programmed in human to be developed. So, uh, we are as humans uh, are born having the genetic power in order to acquire and to uh, produce the language. So we can say that language is genetically inbuilt in humans. Uh, as far as the third question, which is, what is meant by a linguist? In fact, a linguist is a person or the scholar who is interested mainly in studying language. Now, let's return to our topic, which is uh, the branches of uh, linguistics. Uh, in fact, uh, there, uh, there is no uh, limited number to the uh, branches of linguistics. Why? Because many branches um, appear nowadays and uh, you know technological uh, uh, developments uh, make us expect new uh, fields and new branches uh, uh, in addition to the already uh, known branches of linguistics yes um, now the first branch of uh, linguistics in fact if you imagine linguistics as a circle we put in the center of the circle phonetics. Now, what is meant by phonetics? Actually, phonetics is the study of speech sounds, how they are produced in the vocal tract, and this is part of the articulatory phonetics, and how they are transmitted through the air, and this is what is meant by the acoustic uh, phonetics, and how they are perceived and received by the listener, and this is what is meant by the auditory phonetics. Two, we have phonology. Phonology is the study of the sound system of language, how the particular sounds used in each language form an integrated system for encoding information and how such systems differ from one language to another. Uh, also, there is morphology. Morphology can be defined as the study of the way in which words are constructed of out of the smaller units which have a meaning or a grammatical function. For example, the word friendly is constructed from friend and the adjective forming ly. Lexicography is the compiling of dictionaries. Lexicography, in fact, could be seen as a branch 
of applied linguistics. Yeah. Syntax it is the study of how words combine to form sentences and how and the rules which govern the formation of sentences. Semantics is the study of meaning, how words and sentences are related to the real or imaginary object they refer to and the situations they describe. Pragmatics is the study of the use of language in communication, particularly the relationships between sentences and the context and situations in which they are used, such as time, place, social relationship between speaker and hero, and speaker's assumptions about the hero's belief. Sociolinguistics is the study of language in relation to social factors such as social class, educational level, age, sex, and ethnic origin. Such areas as the study of language choice in bilingual or multilingual communities. Language planning or language attitudes can also be included. Now we have another branch which is discourse analysis. Discourse analysis, in fact, can be defined as the study of how sentences in spoken or written language form larger meaningful units, such as paragraphs, conversations, interviews, etc. Stylistics is the study of that variation in language, which is dependent on the situation in which the language is used, and also and the effect the writer or speaker wishes to create on the reader or hearer. Stylistics tries to establish principles capable of explaining the particular choices made by individuals and social groups in their use of language. Literary stylistics is the analysis of literary texts applying linguistic methods and theories, phonetics, morphology, syntax, discourse analysis, pragmatics, etc. With the aim of providing retrievable inter interpretations which allow comparisons of different texts, gen gen genres, fiction, drama, and poetry, etc. Psycholinguistics is the study of the mental processes underlying the planning, production, perception, and comprehension of speech. For example, how memory limitations affect speech production and comprehension. The best developed branch of psycholinguistics is the study of language acquisition. Applied linguistics is the application of the methods and results of linguistics to such areas as language teaching, national language policies, translation, language and politics, advertising, classrooms, and courts, which is called Fornisk linguistics. Computational linguistics, in fact, studies natural language, languages such as Japanese rather than computer languages such as Fortran or Java. The field of computational linguistics has two aims. Number one, the, technol the technological aim to enable computers to be used as aids in analyzing and processing natural language and the psychological aim to understand by analogy with computers more about how people pr process natural languages. It also includes research on automatic translation, electronic production, of artificial speech and the automatic recognition of human speech. Yeah, all these definitions, in fact, are adapted from uh, these two uh, main sources, Richards, Jack et al., Dictionary of Language Teaching and Applied Linguistics, and from uh, uh, Crystal David, uh, 1997, a dictionary of linguistics and phonetics, fourth edition. Yeah, thank you very much for listening.